Welcome to the Soul Ties Podcast with love and life coach Dale Lawrence, helping you detox from toxic relationships. What's up, what's up, what's up? It is that time again, my friends. Back up in the building for all God's children, it is the love and life coach, Dale Lawrence, and the people's bishop. The people's bishop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm glad to be here. You dig? <laughs> bishop Kevin. We need to explain that to them. Yes, yes. we do. Well, please go ahead. Well, that, that, listen. That's gonna be that's gonna be a part of our tagline now. So we got two, both from Memphis, right? So ain't in Maine. That's ain't one in Maine. Of them. That's one. Ain't in Maine. So for those that are unfamiliar with the terminology, it simply means I agree with you, good sir. Right? That's all it means. So <laughs> they'd be like, man, that podcast was fire, wasn't it? Ain't in Maine. Right? There you go. You see, just so everyone knows how to use it. Got to school everybody. Got to yeah, school you. Yeah, yeah. You did. And then the second one is you dig. So, you know, amen means I agree. You dig means I agree. So you dig is just the modern version of amen and amen and amen. You dig. The it's Memphis modern version, might I add. The Come Memphis on. modern version. Well, well, here yes, we sir. here we go, baby. It's it's going down. It's April Fool's Day. Yes, it is. Don't be no fool. Don't be, listen. Don't be no fool, right? <laughs> don't be no fool. But but look, but look before we get into the topic, what you think about this eclipse going down in seven days? So you know, um, I, I think one is it is the Bible talks about uh, signs, uh, signs in the sky, signs of the times. And I think uh, it is just that. I think, uh, you know, it is it is that. Eclipses happen all the time. Um, the Bible talks about this in several different places. And so I think it is just, and it's in Luke 21 where it talks about it, signs, sun, the moon, the stars. I think the reality of it, uh, Acts 2 talks about it. I will give signs in the heavens and miracles and the blood, the fire, plumes of smoke. All that's saying is that, one, the Bible uh, was not lying, <laughs> number one. Number two, it's a sign. And what's the sign? It's really a sign for everybody to get serious about these three things, loving God, loving people, loving life. Um, you know, sometimes people look at stuff like that and they get so negative. They get apocalyptic in the sense of destruction. But like apocalypse, if we, let's go deep for a minute. It just means to uncover or to reveal. So uh, it, it actually doesn't mean the ending of a thing. So the apocalypse isn't the ending. It means the revealing. The revealing of who? Of God. And so um, the Bible says the earth is groaning for the manifestation of the sun. So I said, everybody, let the apocalypse be your sign before your life blacks out. Make sure that you do everything you can on this earth to love God, love people, and love your life. If you're in delay, enjoy your delay. If you're in transition, enjoy your transition. Like Whatever you find yourself in, go all the way in. Uh, let that be your sign. Don't get caught up in, oh, we better have people, oh, we better stop powerful. You can do that. Okay, oh, we better do this. We better do this. Things are going to, no, 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 no. God's people lived in Goshen. And even when the worst of the worst plagues hit Egypt, guess who it didn't affect? God's people. Guess whatever the world goes through, it's not going to affect us. You need to exempt yourself. I'm exempt. Whatever the world going through, that ain't got nothing to do with us. We live in Goshen. You did? You did. I love that, man. So today's topic is don't be a fool. <laughs> don't be a fool. Listen, Proverbs speaks about so many fools, right? But I love this particular text in Galatians 6 and 7 where it says, don't be fooled. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he reap. Now, Bishop, I want you to go there, man. I want you to break that down because, you know, what what is the significance of being foolish? And why is that text there saying God is not mocked? Uh, yeah. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he reap. And, and, and let's attack it from a relationship standpoint. Good point. <clears throat> you know, here's the thing. Anything you put out, you're going to get back. Anything you release, you're going to get it back with increase. That's the simplicity of it. And I think the, the reason that, the, that that's so significant 
is that um, you know you you many people think they can get away with anything and do anything and there's no repercussion for it, right? So there's two sides to this. One, all of us have been done wrong by somebody, and we've all been tempted to clap back, get back, get even. The 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 power of that verse is they're gonna get it back because God won't be mocked. What does it mean he won't be mocked? In other words, God's system in the earth is release, increase, release, increase, sowing, reaping. That's his system. The world calls it karma. All they did is bite that from us. All they did is, a matter of fact, everything the world has, they take from us, right? Um, there's the whole manifest. They be, you ain't got nothing to manifest. That's Bible. Call things to be not as though they were. Like, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm getting, I'm, I'm cleansing my house. I got my herbs and this and that. Baby, listen, that's Bible. That's called incense. Y'all ain't going to say that. Y'all get that from us. Stop it. So at the, at the end of the day, <clears throat> um, you don't have to worry about anybody using you, anybody taking advantage of you, because God won't be mocked. He's going to make sure um, that he handles them. That's comfort, because some people, the reason they're bitter right now on this podcast is because um, all, all they've done something for somebody. They've been there for somebody and they didn't feel like they got it back. They feel like that person got away with it. They didn't. They got to read what they saw. That's number one. Flip side is anything I want, I got to give it first. There go the word right there, Mr. Dale. Love anything, life coach. wait, wait, wait. Anything that I want, I have mm -hmm. to give it first. Wait a minute. Now, break that, now Bishop, come on. We got to break that down because usually we got a lot of people out here with trust issues. So, therefore, sure. they want the other person to prove themselves before I give you all of me. All right, let's go there. You know this week we talk every day, right? So let's go there. Yep. You got certain individuals out there who are playing games in relationships yeah. all because they want the other person to prove themselves mm -hmm. worthy before I open up and give you my all. Now that's the ongoing consensus, is it not? It is the consensus, but here's my, but you ready? I, I got something for you. Give I got it to something me. For you. Give it to me. But how's that working out? Because mm. here's the deal. For every person who's who's playing that type of a game, right? Well, I'm not doing nothing until you do something. I ain't going to say I like you until you say you like me. I'm right. not going to go all in until you all in. Okay, that's great. A and listen, the wisdom of it is, if you're pouring, if you're a gallon and you're pouring into a court and they can't handle it, the wisdom is don't be a fool. Stop pouring. In other words, if you're if you're giving and it's not being reciprocated, that's your answer. That's your answer. Okay. That's a totally different thing is you refusing to give because you want it to be given first. Come on. Yeah, I got that. I just said something like right that. That's Come a on, totally man. different thing. <clears throat> and consequently, here goes the challenge. And so you won't trust, but you don't give trust. So you're never trusted. So it never works. But it never could have worked because God won't be mocked. He's not changing his system because you've been hurt. Hmm. Ain't nobody gonna talk to me. Okay. He's not changing. He's not changing what he said because you got trust issues, hmm. baby. You won't trust. You gotta give trust. You want loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. You gotta give loyalty, hmm. loyalty, loyalty. Yeah. What you want, you gotta give it first. Whatsoever man sows, that will he also reap. If you sow, um, playing games, they bad. They bad. They bad. You gonna reap somebody playing games with you. He won't be mocked. And and again, the reason most of us don't sow what we want is because of what we've seen when we've sown. I'm going to back it up. Most of us don't. The reason we don't sow what we want is we, what we've seen when we've sown. Like, I was good to them and they weren't good to me. What if, here, I'm going to drop the mic to be honest with you. I think this is it right here. You ready? What if you sowed in one place and you're going to reap it in another place? Tell me where he said you're going to get it back the same place you sowed it. Tell me where he said that. He never says it. He says, whatever or that, not from who. I'm preaching better than y'all saying yeah, it. Oh, yeah. Listen, come Which on, means keep... you may sow it in one relationship and reap it in a whole nother one. You may sow it on one job and reap it on a whole nother one. This is why you never have to, you, you can't get into this I'm holding back thing. Because what if the person you sold it to, you were never going to get it from? What if you were going to meet somebody that was going to be everything you sold into somebody else? But because you wouldn't release it, because you wouldn't sell it, because you wouldn't give it, you never qualified to get a harvest of it. My God. But, 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 Bible says up. to give seed to the sower. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and now, ooh, now you, now you going in. You going in. You going in today. But li- listen, I gotta ask you this. So if that's yes, the sir. case, then why, you know, you got so many people were like saying, well, well, don't the Bible say I should reap what I sow, or if I give, it will be given back to me. You know, I mean. Just naturally speaking, people think, okay, well, if I'm sowing into this individual, why am I going to reap it back into somebody else? Why not go to the somebody else and sow into them? Well, because here's the deal. You never know. Bible says, I got you today. Come on, Bible man. says one sows, another waters, but God brings the increase. He doesn't tell you where he's bringing the increase. Drop the mic. He, he, he never says Drop where you're going to get it back. <laughs> in fact, in fact, Okay, you ready? Yeah. In fact, okay, I got you. I can go deep for my Bible study. Let's ready? go. In Deuteronomy 6 and in Joshua 24, 13, you see the same imagery from God. I'll give you houses you didn't build. I'll give you land that you didn't sow for. I'll give you all these things and vineyards that you did not grow. But here's the thing. You'll eat as much as you want, the Bible says. But here's the thing. They did sow for all of that in Egypt. When they were built, watch me, when they were building Pharaoh's cities, yeah. God said, you're sowing into this man's and I'm going to give you your own in the promised land. Ah. Ain't nobody talking. Ah. Ain't nobody talking. Ah. You, you, you build in Pharaoh's cities. You're building Pharaoh's stuff. You're doing all it is for Pharaoh. And you're thinking, what a waste. What a waste. No, you're getting skills. You're learning. You're growing. And then I'm going to take you on what's supposed to be an 11-day journey into your promise, baby. It ain't supposed to be 40 years, you dig. I'm going to take you into your promised land. And I'm going to have people that built your stuff. But it's going to be better than what you built for Pharaoh. You're going to reap it somewhere else. They never reaped it in Egypt. They reaped it in, in Canaan. Oh, the promised land. Oh, oh. They sowed it in Egypt. They reaped it again. I'm going to tell somebody, yeah, I know that wasn't right how that man did you. I know that wasn't right how that woman did you. And I know you gave it your all. And I know now you're like, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. But, baby, that's why you as blessed as you are today. Talk to me in these comments. Talk to me on this podcast. That's why you're as blessed as you are today. This is why God is making ways for you out of no way today. But what if you sowed in relationship one and you're going to reap it in relationship seven? Oh, my God. What if you had to go through some counterfeits to get to your fit? You Ow. cannot let you cannot let this stuff wear you out. No, no, cannot, cannot. No, don't, don't, don't be a fool. Why would you go through all the hell you've been through to be a fool now? Like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't trust nobody. I don't believe nobody. I don't know. Okay, okay. Well, you could do. Well, good luck. Good luck with that. How's that working out for you? Good luck with that. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. We can end it right there, Bishop. Right there, Bishop. We will be together. Yes, sir. On April 23rd, Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, yes, this my is going to be fun. This listen, is going to be listen, fun. Listen, listen. I need y'all to go to the soultimesmovement.com. Go to the soultimesmovement.com and register right now. Seating is limited. If you don't register, you don't get a seat. That's just how it is. All right? The Love and Life Coach, the People's Bishop, Two men of God, one yes. transformative night, April 23rd, all roads lead to Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, that is. So if you're on the West Coast, make sure you make your way Tuesday night. Bishop, a lot of folks say, Tuesday night? Why couldn't it be a weekend? Why are you coming on Tuesday? Please tell them the significance of Tuesday before we get up out of here. Oh, listen, let me be clear. One, you ain't got nothing going on on Tuesday. That's number one. <laughs> You ain't doing nothing on no Tuesday night. But then number two, here's the thing. It's gonna be transformation Tuesday. It's yeah, a prophetic day. Like like we gonna get you gonna transform just to see if you wait till the weekend to get it, then you're gonna get to Monday and then the week's gonna hit. When we come on a Tuesday, you're gonna learn something on Tuesday, you're gonna put it in practice Tuesday night. And then you're gonna have the rest of the week to have transformation in your life because that's gonna be a life changing night. It's just that simple, you did. Oh man, just that simple. I'm liking this you dig. Oh, the oh man, it, it. it's the business, and that week is the week of Passover. Oh yes, and let's be very let's clear. Talk, let's speak it's prophetic. Past, and, and, go and, and, there. No, 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 no. Go there, baby. Clear. I got it. Oh, How go. could you let's not go, go that, there? That is, yeah, go. Yeah, go. That, that's the that's the week. So what's Passover? I make it simple. The Bible operates off of seven major biblical feasts. 
that are to be honored forever, right? There's uh, um, uh, um, f- three in the spring, four in the fall. That's the beginning of the spring feast season. And th- in other words, that's the changing of the season of your life, which means that during that week, that was the, literally that week, that was the same week Jesus was betrayed, crucified. I know people, and 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 we'll have to do this on another podcast. People think, well, isn't that around Easter? Uh, uh-uh, uh. Uh-uh. The calendars don't match like that. It's the Hebrew calendar Bible's based off of. That's Passover. That's the week Jesus was betrayed. That's the week that Jesus was crucified. That's the week that changed the world. That's going to be the week that changes your life. Because there's some things that have been. Watch me. They've been passing through you, but they're about to pass over you. Come Listen, see me. If, come see me. If, come see us. If come I see was us, you, you, if I was if you, I, were you, I were would you. be in the building for Transformative yep. Tuesday. Yes. Bishop Kevin Foreman, Dale Lawrence, don't miss it. Register right now at the Soul Tides Movement. And if you're listening right now, listen, you got to join our society. This is only once a month that we go broadcast into the world, but at the Soul Tides Society, every week you get exclusive content that the world does not get because that's for my VIPs. That's to my people that's a part of the society of our online community where we literally coach you for life. I need you to sign up for that because this year God told me to do it absolutely free. I'm opening up the doors to the Soul Tide Society for the year of 24. It's absolutely free. Go to Patreon right now forward slash Dale Lawrence and sign up for the Soul Ties Society, okay? Yeah, information's right there in the description. And in the meantime, between time, don't be no fool. We'll see you next month on the next edition of the Soul Ties Podcast. Because trust me, next month, I will still be the love and life coach, Dale Lawrence. And that man will still be the people's bishop. Already, you know it. You did. You did. Thank you, man. Thank you for listening. We would like to bless you with the Soul Ties Stimulus Package, which includes the Detox ebook, message, and exclusive podcast episode. Text Soul Ties, S O U L T I E S, to 888 756 8681.